Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the RH criteria. So last session, we will discuss some points regarding the RH criteria. So what is RH criteria? RH criteria means Ruth Horwich criteria. Ruth Horwich criteria. Horwich criteria. That is the scientist name actually. So in this, we will get closed loop stability. Closed loop stability. We will analyze the closed loop stability. We will test the given system is stable or not by using the closed loop transfer function. So what is closed loop transfer function here? Generally, the closed loop transfer function is like this: g of s by one plus g of s into h of s. In this closed loop transfer function, we will take the characteristic equation so we will consider the characteristic equation what is characteristic equation that is 1 plus g of s h of s is equals to 0 characteristic equation by using this equation we will analyze the stability of the given system here just take the characteristic equation that is assume a modal characteristic equation that is a naught s power n minus 1 n and a 1 s power n minus 1 plus a 2 s power n minus 3 and up to so on just take a n is s power 0 s power 0 this is the characteristic equation that means here the coefficient which we take n just n minus 0 that means maximum s power n means maximum power of the s a1 s power n minus 1 means less than maximum power a2 means less than n minus 1 this is not 3 this is 2 n minus 2 and up to so on like this so for this this characteristic equation will be converted into the RH table. So in that RH table, you have to write like this. So in the RH table, first you will write the maximum power. Maximum power is the A0. Just write the A0 here. After S power N minus 1 power, which is S power N minus 1 power A1. Next. What is next power? next power is a2 right a2 here and this is the a3 and a4 this is the a5 if you observe here these all are the these all are the generally <coughs> general the maximum powers so step by step powers is there okay the maximum power and less than maximum power coefficient next power next power next power next power and in order to get next thing for example you can take the s power n minus 2 here then you will write this value is like this that is this factor minus this factor divided by this so that means a1 a2 a1 into a2 a naught in minus a naught into a3 divided by this factor is the a1 this is the next coefficient and same as next coefficient is so again multiply with a naught and again multiply with the a4 a1 a4 a1 a4 minus a naught a5 a naught a5 by a naught so by a1 again not a naught okay so this is the another step next step we will have the next step so this process will be continued here so from this process by after writing the rh table we have to analyze the rh table the analysis here here by doing this here the first column in RH table no sign changes for example no sign changes so for example it has all positives positives 
positives and the positives like that we have the positives then the system is stable the given system is become the stable system if any sign changes if same for the first column any sign changes for example in this for example we have this term is negative look at here then positive to negative and negative to positive like that sign change is there whenever sign change is there then automatically the system is unstable directly we can tell that system is stable system is unstable the second point number of sign changes for example two sign changes are there okay then number of poles in the right hand side of s plane is two then two poles are available available in right side of s plane understand whenever there is this column there is no sign changes automatically system is stable if in this any sign change is there the system is unstable so number of sign changes number of sign changes increases then automatically number of sign changes q the number of right pole number so here here two sign changes is there automatically we have the two right hand side poles are available okay so in order to understand clearly we will solve a one problem that is the given characteristic equation s cube 6 s square plus 3 s plus 10 equal 0 find out system is stable or not here first given system write down this is 1 into given 1 into s cube plus 6 into s square plus 3 into s plus 10 equal to 0 given characteristic equation first coefficient first write the coefficient then first write what is the maximum power is the maximum power is s cube here next power is s square next is s power n next is s power 0 okay now you will add the coefficients here for s cube we have coefficient is 1 for s square we have the 6 for this 3 for this 10 okay for this 10 now you have to write s1 s1 value this in this this multiplication minus this multiplication by this that means we can write 6 into 3 minus 1 into 10 by 6 then by doing this you will have the 18 minus 10 by 6 that is 8 by 6 this is the 8 by 6 okay and there is no there is no things you can directly you can this value take it 0 directly you can put into 0 then again doing this you will get 10 here you will get 10 here so now check the first column this is the positive positive and again positive again positive then the first column of the this characteristic equation is the all are positive therefore the given system is stable system given system is the stable system okay this is the procedure and we will use the another method the direct method we have the second method so in this second method we will save the much time compare with the first method here once again write this s cube plus 6x square plus 3s plus 10 so multiply these two coefficients and these two coefficients so these two coefficients multiplication is 1 into 10 okay and these two coefficients is so the outside take it as outside coefficients because this is outside and this is outside here this is inside and this is the inside multiply with these two 6 into 3 these are the inside coefficients okay the inside coefficients multiplication is more than the outside co coefficients then the system is stable then the system is stable 
at that condition is it possible only for s power is 3 then there are four terms are possible so then the system is stable then the system is stable so we can do that we can do that by using then the procedure okay so this is the procedure to understand the to test the given characteristic equation system is stable or not i hope all of you understand the session in this session we discussed rh table and how to solve this rh table and what is the theory of behind rh table and what is the shortcut method to do the rh table okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you